Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Kansas Motor Speedway for the running of the SpongeBob SquarePants 400. It's a very, very cloudy afternoon, as you can probably tell by the reflection of the lights above. It's a cloudy night, but when is it never at Kansas? Because it's always this is in the middle of Tornado Alley. And a tornado season, so there's always that possibility of rain and thunderstorms and stuff. So, on the pole is Season 3 Budweiser All Pro Series champion Stephen Pollard III, alongside of him is Peter Saviano in the 34. A couple of uh, Hendrick Motorsports drivers starting in the top six, three starting in, top, in the top six, so it's pretty good qualifying for them. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to try to get this race in before the rains come. Let's go track side. Drivers, start your engines! Three. Ah, there. The command has been given. The engines are fired here at Kansas, and the cars begin to roll off the, pay, the pit lane. We're on 27 laps of racing here in Kansas. Pit stops are indeed on, so it's going to be interesting to see who is going to come out of this race with a victory. Last year, last season, we saw Pit Strategy get Trent done of the victory. Can that happen again? I don't know. Where is Trent? i got to find where Trent. Where is Trent starting at? Okay, it looks to be about mid-pack. Looks to be about mid-pack for Trent Dunham. So that's about where he started last last season at this track. And pulled away, pulled off pitch strategy. So we'll have to wait and see. But here we go. Coming off of turn number four, the pace car ducks in. And the SpongeBob SquarePants 400 is set to get underway. Green flag is out. We're racing. Peter Salayano did not get a very good jump going into turn number one. So it's going to be the Hendrick Motorsports cars of Stephen Pollard III and Jessica Shelton who's going to power away in this one. The 16 car back there, that's of uh, Derek Pemberton. He, uh, he also, he didn't really, even, he didn't even really get a good run off that corner too. And uh oh, the 18 of O'Neill Belvin is coming down pit road. Something is up with the 18 of O'Neill Belvin. He is coming down pit road. Let's see what happens when he stops in his pit box. Looks like they're going to work somewhere on that car. Caution is out. Caution is out. John Cittadino is in trouble. Henrietta Fitzwater. Connor Breton. Betty Thomas. Stephen Pollard the third. We had another accident. Alex May and Dusty Allen on the front straightaway. Cameron Pemberton also looked like looks to have gotten involved in the accident as well. As cars are trying to settle out where they were at. Looks like we got a couple of cars coming to pit road and others staying out. Ooh, so we got some strategy starting early on in the race. Shelton's going to be the first to come down pit road. As you see him coming down pit road. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that, by the way. Yeah, I got you. I'll, I won't divvy up anything until I come home. Jessica Shelton's going to be the first person to come out. A pit lane, here we go. As the cars are coming out, let's go and take a look and see what happened and bring out the first caution of the night. Okay, so we're looking here at John Cittadino to figure out what happened. And Cittadino pulls all the way down onto the apron. 
He tries to go on the apron through the turn, comes back up into Breton, causes those four cars to wreck. And then as you see here with Stephen Pollard, or Steve Pollard, I want to know what else happened up ahead with Dusty Allen. So it looks like he's, okay, they're going three wide. Oh, he hit the wall. Oh, look, the 17 car spins. That's what happens. So that's what happened to bring out the other part of or the other wreck. All right, well, as we saw, we saw pit strategy. Couple cars pit, others did not. So let's go back up and take a look and see what the running order is coming to the green. Welcome back to Kansas. As you see, we just got the one to go. A couple cars are out of the race already. They are Connor Breton, Henrietta Fitzwater, and Betty Thomas. And unfortunately, because of whatever happened to O'Neill Belvin in the 18, he is one lap down, so he gets a start on that inside line. So your running order, your top 10 running order coming to the restart is Stephen Pollard III, Derek Pemberton, Nathan Hudson, Joshua Collard, Dougie Shears, Kyle Matthews, Anthony McCurry, James Silverfox, Nick Altendorf, and Joshua Balkin. So, very interesting to say the least. We got one more race after this race, and that is going to be at Old Spice. That's right, we're going to go to a, a fan favorite, I guess, in a way, from a... Uh, from, NAS, from the old NASCAR Thunder games, and that's going to that's going to determine who can el who else will make it in the All Star race. Come into the green flag now. Green flag is back out. We're back on the way here at Kansas. Let's see if the 18 will be up to speed or not. Collard already jumps down to the inside, and it looks like the 18 of O'Neill Belvin is in fact up to speed enough. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure. Let's see. 100. Oops. 185. Yep. O'Neill Belvin is up to speed. Belvin is not the leader, though. We have a battle for the lead right now between Joshua Collard and Stephen Pollard III. Now, Belvin going to go right down in front of the 13 car. O'Neill Belvin is hoping that there will be indeed a caution flag so that way he can get his lap back. You just got to stay in front of Collard. Now, remember, a bunch of these drivers at the front did not pit. So, when it comes to them, a lot of the question will remain is, will these drivers be able to make it on field? Hill? Here comes the 24 car back to the inside. This is what O'Neill Belvin wants is for these guys behind him to start pitting, or to start pitting, to start, to start racing so he can pull away and stay in front of these leaders. Here comes Silver Fox in the 10 car. Hut number 10. Uh, this number 10. Vodafone Ford Fusion out of Penske Racing. It is a third Penske car. We're looking at O'Neill Belvin. He is one lap down. He is in 39th place in the running order. And it looks like the 24 car is going to try to get down to get a good run to pass him, but it looks like O'Neill will be able to throw the block. We're looking at a couple of stragglers in the back Alex Main, Dusty Allen, John Citadino was able to get some of his damage repaired from the accident. Uh, Co uh, Cody Hagen is in the back here. That car won the race last time, and the 11 of James Qualls is coming to pit road. That might be some strategy. Oh, the 48's been in the wall. Oh, 22 just got in the wall. Larry Hagen just got involved. No, both of the Hagens are in the back. There's uh, Joseph Strigley. We have a bit of a second pack here. Trent Dunham's back here. Poti. Uh-oh, a couple of more drivers coming to pit road. You see, Dougie, Sh it's Robert Wagner, Dougie Shears, and Dylan Young all coming to pit road this time. As it looks like, James Silverfox is the leader. 
And the 18 of O'Neill Belvin has been passed. Never mind. Here they all come to pit road now. And look at that. Jessica Shelton will stay out and she will grab the lead because she pitted under the first caution. Her and the 7 and the 2 and the 9, they all pitted under the first caution flag. So they can go just a little bit further. Belvin up ahead. O'Neill Belvin now back. He's still technically down back on the lead lap. But he was back. He was one lap down. But Belvin now back on the lead lap as we're going to have a battle for the lead. Here comes Daniel Boyles in the 7 car underneath Jessica Shelton. Boyles now has the lead. The question will remain how long will it be for O'Neill Belvin before he got never mind here comes down pit road now. Belvin gonna go back one lap down, possibly two if he can't get out of pit road in time. As we are still under the green flag as a bunch of cars are being put one lap down. If a caution comes out now. Oh, phlegm on my throat. If a caution comes out now, this will really jumble up the field. Now here comes the 7, the 25, and a bunch of others back down pit row. But Poteet's going to stay out another lap. And Poteet will be the leader. Poteet now is going to come to pit row. The 21 car, he was a lap down. Poteet's got all the room in the world right now. There goes Hudson. Here comes Dunham. Trent Dunham stayed out. He was in the second position. Let's see. 88, the 10, the 14, all these drivers here. Charles Jackson was back on pit road. We're going to keep an eye on, we're going to keep an eye on, though, of Dylan Poteet as he will be the race leader. He's going to see, is it going to be a two-tire strategy or is it going to be four? Looks like four tires. Four tires and a wedge adjustment for the 31 of Dylan Poteet. I have no clue where everyone's going to cycle back around as Poteet and Dunham both come off of pit road. Wait, the caution flag is out, I think. Yeah, the caution is out. Oh my gosh, Dougie Shears is up in freaking smoke. Oh my gosh, Jessica Shelton. She is blown up and all kinds of damage. Something happened to off screen that I didn't get to see. And we're going to see what's going to happen is this could have really jumbled up the field. So we'll be right back after these commercial breaks. So here's what happens with Shelton. Shelton's a little too low because she's she has to like she's on the brakes a little bit. She's a little too low because of Zachary Fitzwater. Then Preston Plore turns her up into her teammate. Holy crap! Into her teammate. The both the five and the twenty-five hard into the wall. This is what happens to bring out the caution flag. But Preston Plord in the 15 turns Shelton up into her teammate and it brings out a caution. So now the question will remain is who's on the lead lap? Who's left to fight this battle? And will they make it from here on fuel? Let's go back up for the restart. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not going to believe this, but we have, not only do we have a lot of cars one lap down and a bunch of others retired, but after this incident, this is the one incident that nobody wanted to see because not only did it jumble up the field, but look, here is your leader, Dylan Poti, in the one, in the 31, he is the only driver right now that he's going to win this race unless something happens, everybody else behind him or in front of him are freaking like are 
So Dylan Pote in the 31 car is the leader as they cross the line, and everybody else is practically one lap down. So this is really going to help Dylan Pote as he's going to most likely win his second race of the season. And what's only going to add insult to injury is if there's another caution, because not only that, but it'll help bring people back on the lead lap, but it'll, it might end the race. Yeah, if a caution comes out now, the race is over. From this point on, if the caution comes out, the race is over. So Dylan Poteet working on rookie James Qualls, not for a position, but to put him a lap down. Now, Poteet going to go underneath James Qualls. He's been told to yield. Dylan Poteet looking for his second win of the season. I know he's, I think he's got a first win already. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. But this could be his second of the season. It's a battle for second place up ahead with the 10. With the 10 of Silver Fox and the 52 of Seth Cole. And there's O'Neill Belvin back in 37. But here's the leader who just took two laps to go. Dylan Pote. Oh, there's an incident up ahead. I didn't see. Jessica Villanueva hard into the wall. The caution is out. Caution is out. The race is going to end under the caution flag. But doesn't matter because Dylan Poteet will be the winner. Here they come off of turn number four. It's going to be Dylan Poteet taking the caution of the white flag. Trying to find out where the pace car is. There's the pace car. Pace car searching for Dylan Poti because Poti is the leader and he will win this race. There's Villanueva who got involved in the last lap accident, but it's not going to matter. She's right behind Poti, but it doesn't matter. Dylan Poti is going to win the SpongeBob SquarePants 400 under caution. Second win of the season for Poti. There comes the rest of the cars. The rest of the cars behind them crossing the start finish line now. A couple of cars stacking up here because I don't think they're in their proper positions. I don't think it's going to matter now as they cross the start. No, they're stopping. Okay, whatever. Weird. But Dylan Poteet is the winner. Alright, and the races has been saved. Or the, uh, it's the official standings. The yeah, race is official. Dylan Poteet is your winner. As you see the cars that have finished the race. Dylan Poteet, James Silver Fox, Seth Cole, Cody Lamas, Stephen Pollard III, Daniel Boyles, Annabelle Belvin, Carson Gum, Dylan Young, Anthony McCurry round out your top ten. Then it's Preston Plore, Peter Salmiano, Jake Haynes, Derek Pemberton, Kyle Matthews, Sean Henley, Annie Thomas, Joshua Collard, Charles Jackson, and Ethan Hudson finish in the top 20. Then Larry Hagan and Steve Pollard round up the cars that are on the lead lap. Everybody else finishes one lap down are Joshua Balkin, Joseph Srigley, John Cittadino, Lisa Gonzalez, Zachary Fitzwater, Robert Wagner, James Qualls, Nick Altendorf, Jessica Villanueva, Dusty Allen, Alex May, Cody Hagan, and O'Neill Belvin round up the cars that finished. Now everybody else that finishes out of the race. Cameron Pemberton, Trent Dunham, Jessica Shelton, Dougie Shears, Betty Thomas, Henrietta Fitzwater, and Connor Breeden. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for Kansas. Next up is the road course of Old Spice, the Old Spice Speedway. And then it's All-Star Race Weekend as Dylan Poteet becomes a, 
Uh, either this is his first win of the season or his second. I don't remember. I have to look. Because, like I said, not all of the points are updated at, as to this point. I like to record at least three races before I, before I even save and upload one. But, uh... So, possibly first or second win of the season for Dylan Pote. He's in the all-star race anyways. So, congratulations to Dylan Pote. Thank you guys for watching this video. You guys are awesome. Thanks for sticking with me for the season four so far. Can't wait to start recording for uh, the Mobile One Cup Series. I already did the Daytona race. So, here we go. Getting ready for the next race. Until we meet again.